Wait, what? You're going to Antarctica? Yes. How? When? To do what? How? I'm not sure. When? As soon as possible. To do what? Also not sure. But you're dropping out of school, Sam. Are you sure that that's a good idea? Because I'm pretty sure that it's not. How can I go to Denton if I'm in Antarctica? Now, I have a lot of planning to do. Well, wait, I, I actually have some news too. I took a job as a manager at Sally Sour Cream. Look at this. Researchers discovered a high altitude site in East Antarctica that offers the clearest view of the stars in the whole world. That's what I'm gonna be sleeping under. I reorganized the baked potato bar today. I moved the chives away from the ranch dressing. No one's ever done that before. Uh-oh. What's wrong? A uh, trip to Antarctica is very expensive. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I suppose you could just wait a few years. Thankfully, I have some savings. Maybe I can ask for some extra shifts at Tektropolis. That's gonna be a lot of extra shifts, Sam. That's okay. I like working at Tektropolis. Bad news, fellas. Tektropolis is closing. Already? But it's only like 420. Hey, look at that, up top. I love late afternoon, less busy. Word. So, why are we closing early, Babo? Your wife cheating on you again. No, what I mean is Tektropolis is closing forever. But then how am I gonna get enough money to go to Antarctica? Forget Antarctica, homie. How are we gonna pay rent? I'm sorry, guys. I should have seen this coming. Big box retail's been dying for years, and yet I'm wholly unprepared. What'd I say about leaving this door open? Though wind blew it closed, there was a breeze. In fact, I think I feel it again. Well, it's eight o'clock. Time for Izzy to head out. Okay. And I'll take your phone. I don't have a phone. Very funny. But if you want to succeed at school and training and being a decent, rested human, it's time to go to bed. I agree with her. Bye. I'll call you in a second. No, you will not. You will call her at 4 a.m. when you wake up. No, you will not. <laughs> Hand it over. Or what? Casey. Elsa. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> All right, love you. Same time tomorrow. Same time every damn day. Damn it, I got a citation. What? There's a rule on socks? I guess. You see, these socks are strictly for running, but Clayton requires a different sock altogether for walking. Really? Ooh, they should put in a sock vending machine. I saw one of those at a bowling alley once. It was a very classy joint. I wonder if undies are required too. Because ew, no, never. No, it's literally just because we have to wear these dumb skirts. I mean, if boys wear gym socks, you can't see them because they're under their pants. We should say something. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to make a big fuss. And plus, Penelope's not wearing underwear. We should just drop it. It's nice we're all having lunch together. Should we go around and say our highs and lows for the day? I like doing that at meals. My high is this grilled cheese. And I don't have a low. Never expose your weaknesses. My high is that the girl who plays our center midfield fractured her tibia. So I'm off the bench. But that's also my low, because she's my friend. Sports? Soccer. Hmm. My high is that I realized I need to go to Antarctica. And my low is that Tektropolis is closing, so I can't make enough money to go. Not with that attitude. 
What you need is a side hustle. A what? Another way to make money. Tell you what, I'll give you five bucks for that penguin drawing. Sold. Bam, side hustle achieved. Have your assistant delivered to my mom's house. I'll just give it to you now. This is a good start, but I still need a lot more. $9,995 at least. Oh, you should have a yard sale. That's how my family pays for our annual trip to Port St. Lucie. Hmm. A trip to Antarctica can't be that much more expensive than a trip to Port St. Lucie, can it? No, I don't think it is. Well, it sounds like you need to find some junk to sell, Sam. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. So are, are we still being weird? I don't know. Do you have any more lady kisses you want to tell me about? Or would you rather wait till just before Casey's next parent-teacher no, conference? No, no. I told you, I didn't mean anything. If you really think... No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think you and Megan... I don't. But I'm tired of all the back and forth. We're either together or we're not. We are. I feel bad about Chuck's party. I was so angry and strange. We should have him over for dinner to make up for it. Yeah, well, you weren't that strange. I mean, that's stranger than normal. You, you were angry, but... Can we please just spend the next 50 years or so having a nice, boring life? Yes, boring. I would love that. Library trips, <laughs> leaf collecting, anything <laughs> redundant, monotonous. I'm dropping out of school and going to Antarctica. Whoa, honey, slow down. Going to Antarctica when? As soon as possible. Why are you dropping out? Why not just take a semester off? No, because I don't want to split my focus. W what are you doing with our toaster? I'm putting it in a box to sell at my yard sale. Are your electric toothbrushes upstairs? W w what do we make of this? I think we let it play out. Big ideas like this tend to go away on their own. I mean, why be the naysayers when time and logistics can do it for us? That's good. I like that. A swift kick in the ass from life. You're devious. Thank you. There. Sign my petition. Abolish the Clayton dress code. OK. Look, I know you don't want to make a big deal out of it, but I don't think we have a choice. I mentioned it at the GSA meeting. In case these dress codes are really upsetting to people. I mean, did you know it hasn't been changed in a hundred years? Wow. Literally a hundred years. Well, did you tell the GSA about my sock vending machine idea? And like, what if someone isn't comfortable having to prescribe for these gender norms? Mm -hmm. Like, just because I have a vulva, that means I have to wear a small skirt? Is that the wording in the dress code? <sighs> Will you just sign it, please? Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to study for my history exam while I cram some lunch into my face, and then I have to finish my AP Lit reading before practice, so maybe later I'll do some bicep curls while delivering a litter of puppies. I'm not busy at all. There he is. What, do you think you're special or something because today's your last shift? Last shift, baby. And you're still bringing this weak-ass coffee till the end, huh? Why switch it up last minute? Uh, huh. So I, um, <clears throat> I, I told Elsa about New York before the party. Oh, is that what was going on? I was wondering why she was carrying around that wine bottle all night. Well, she feels bad. She wants to make it up to you guys, have you and Don over for dinner. Well, I don't hold it against her. I hold it against you, dummies. But I'm happy to come for dinner. And you know what I'll be bringing. Chuck's crust. Best sourdough around. <sighs> you know, I think I might actually miss this a little. <laughs> oh, well, not me. <laughs> That's what you think. Last shift. Last shift, baby. Hi, oh. Paige. What you doing? Hi, Laird. I, I was just reorganizing the freezer. Did somebody ask you to do this? Well, no, I, I couldn't find the butter, and then I couldn't reach the cookie dough, and the whole thing just needed to be reorganized for efficiency. 
the waffle fries were hidden behind the frozen au gratin slurry. I mean, it's madness. No offense to you. And so the student has become the master. Excuse me? Paige, this is exactly the sort of initiative that Sally needs more of. You're a disruptor, which is how I knew that you were ready for these. Oh, wow, are those? That's right. Your very own keys to the castle. You've got sour cream in your veins, Paige, and you can't teach that. about this crowd, Sam. They don't seem to appreciate the quality of the wares set before them. I agree. I can't believe my mom's panini press is just sitting there. It's practically brand new. How much for this? $20. But you should know it can comfortably house an extra small to small tortoise max. I was going to use it for plants and small rocks and things. It's a waste. It's been hours. How much have we made? Well, let's see. Uh, all right, plus 90, plus 66, minus five, because I kept those clothes pins. You never know. And we have made a total of less than $7. What? But how? A blue dot is a nickel, right? A blue dot is $5. Oh, well, I guess that's how. Well, I say we bail this wholesale and go straight to plan D. What's plan D? Sperm bank donation. Working and jerking. Cash for a splash. <laughs> it's working smart and hard. I'm definitely not doing that. Well, I'm not made out of ideas, Sammy. If you'll excuse me, I have to go save a sweet young tracksuit from a sour old man. Hey, Sam. Hi. What's that? My box of O's. O Magazine and other inspirational content. I used it to fuel my political and social aspirations, but now I'm leaving those behind and these are just a reminder of the road not taken, so. You can put them over there, although I don't think anyone will want them. So, how's it going? Bad. After the $11 I spent on signage and donut holes, I now have less money for Antarctica than when I started. I'm sorry. Maybe it's a sign. Of what? Well, that now's not the time to go to Antarctica. But it is. Sam, sometimes the universe has plans for us that we can't imagine. I certainly didn't anticipate finding myself in chain potato restaurant management, but it turns out that I'm really good at it. And now I have my own set of keys to the restaurant and my own personal code to the alarm system. I went with my birthday, Natch, but my point is, is that I've embraced the unexpected and I don't know, maybe you should too. I don't know. Ooh, I know what'll help. Let's go on a date. Uh, we can go somewhere special to celebrate. How's Sunday? Usually pretty boring. Well, then a date with your lady is the perfect thing. Sam, I'm really proud of you. I know you're not jet setting around the globe quite yet, but you're still doing great things. Right here with me. What, no Izzy in here for me to kick out tonight? Well, she's busy planning a revolution. Hmm. Her and the GSA are trying to get rid of the Clayton dress code. Huh, good for them. Good for them? Since when are you on the side of the rebellion? Well, maybe I wish I had a little more rebellion in my life. Really? I think you look adorable in that uniform. It's actually a lot nicer than most of the stuff you wear. It's just a mean thing to say but I cannot remember a time in my life where I wasn't judged for what I wore or how I looked. I don't even think I realized it until you were a baby. Really? Why? Gosh. You were 18 months, and you were wearing Sam's old clothes. There were these little overalls with dinosaurs on them. Oh. <laughs> you were cute as pie. And this old biddy started yelling at me at the park. I'm sorry, a biddy? An older woman. Right. She said you looked like a boy, and for some reason, it really upset her. I got so mad. 
I just felt like she's not even two years old and she's already being criticized for how she looks and what she wears. Oh, Mom. You killed her, didn't you? This is the beginning of a very upsetting confession, I can tell. Well, I do have one confession. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I do every time I go to Target? Buy the scratchy toilet paper? Casey, one time. No. I go into the boys' clothes section, and I take some things, and I put them in the girls' section. No. And then I do the same thing with the girls' clothes. You outlaw. I know. I'm bad. Oh, my God. Phone, please. Five minutes. All right. What's up, dude? Those assholes deny my petition. I got over 500 signatures and they just said no. What can I do to help? Well, I was talking to some of the GSA kids about it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And we could plan a protest. It could be big. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, of course. This is important. Okay, thank you. Oh, hey guys, you hear practice got canceled. Yeah, we're just gonna sit around and gossip all day. Sounds fun, right? <laughs> Yay, fun. Oh, you wanna run, okay. Let's go, two laps. Hey. Oh, hi, Coach. You know I keep my ear to the ground. No, I don't know that. What is that? Is that like you keep your hands clean, like you don't get involved in shady behavior? Sort of. I heard about this protest. Oh. And, and look, I, I'm not saying you shouldn't do something you're passionate about. Okay. Just remember, you've got a lot at stake. You're working really hard. Clayton gets pissy about this sort of thing. You don't want to lose your scholarship. And you're so close to getting what you want. Okay? Okay. Go team. Don't be a dumbass. Stay still. I can't. It's impossible. I'm a human. Stop talking. I can't. It's impossible. I'm chatty. This is not going to work. Is everything okay? No, this assignment is annoying. I don't even like drawing people. What else? How do you know there's something else? I don't know. I just get you. I thought I found my purpose. To go to Antarctica, to study penguins and help them. Oh, yeah, that's perfect for you. It's not happening. Going to Antarctica is very expensive, and I'm losing my job, and I couldn't make enough money at my yard sale, and I don't want to do Zahid's gross plan, and Paige said I should give up. Well, she said the universe said it, but I think she said it. Why don't you try a fundraiser? My parents go to them sometimes. They once paid $500 to sit next to Mario Lopez. My mom touched his butt. That wasn't part of it. How do I do that? Not the butt part. Just get a bunch of friends in a room, tell them your plan, and ask them if they want to invest in you. That's not rude. Not if you have good snacks. You're telling me this whole time we were selling the second best electric toothbrush on the market? I'm afraid so. Sam, what's going on? I thought we were going on a date. Change of plans. I'm having a fundraiser for my trip. Your trip to Antarctica? I, I thought we decided that you were holding off on that. Yes, but that was mostly your idea, not my idea. My idea was to go. I'm gonna go prepare a few words. Sam. Oh, hey. There she is. I heard a rumor that somebody is climbing up a potato ladder. Yeah. Sally's is a good company. Once you're in, you are in. They don't let anybody go. Hey. Welcome to my brother's silly penguin party. Very nice. 
You look happy. Yeah, well, I just got back from the GSA meeting, and it was so cool. I've, I've never done anything like this. Plan a protest? It was so awesome. Oh my god, Is I, I love that. I'm just... What? Um... Would you be really mad if I didn't do it? What? I, I'm just... I'm worried. I, I've just been working so hard and I, I don't want to get in trouble. And, and, and Crowley said... I just don't want to risk everything. Okay. That's fine. We're starting. I'm... Casey, we're starting. Ahem. Thank you for coming. This is so exciting. I'm gonna make a lot of enthusiastic sounds to get the crowd riled up. On Tuesday, I realized my purpose. To go to Antarctica. Which is why you're here tonight. I'm here because, uh... It's my mom's bridge night, and she wants me O-U-T. When I was little, my mom showed me a documentary about the South Pole. That's how I learned it was the coolest place in the world. Ooh. Since then, I've learned every fact I can about it, about the explorers, and the landscape, and the animals, especially the penguins, Last year, I even adopted a penguin. Aww. But even though I loved it so much, I never thought I could go. Until I looked at Stumpy and realized that's my next journey. Yay! I don't know how I'm gonna get there and what exactly I'm gonna do, but I know I need to go. That's where you come in. Please put donations in Zahid's hat. Thank you. Because you can't spell fundraiser without fedora. You definitely don't know how to spell either of those words. Yeah. I put in a thousand. What is happening? I mean, have you people all just lost your minds? This isn't even the tiniest bit realistic. Why not? Seriously? Well, one, Sam's never left the country. Two, he's never been on a plane. Three, he hates camping. Four, he's such a picky eater. And, and the fish don't come in stick form in Antarctica, okay, Sam? And five, Sam can't stand the cold. So figure that one out. And the, the swishing sound of people's snow pants drives him crazy. I'll bet you didn't think about that one, Sam. The just constant swish, 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 swishing of people's snow pants is driving you bonkers. You're gonna lose your freaking mind. <laughs> oh, Sam, I didn't mean. To... Sam, no. Casey, I'm just I gonna. I said no, Paige. should have been more clear, it was Jamaican dollars. Paige is wrong. Come with me. Where? Paige's Sally Sour Cream keys? Where'd you get those? I found them on the table. Come on! Why are we here? I don't think we're supposed to be here if we're gonna get Paige in trouble. We're training. Something I'm very familiar with. Something I'm a master at. But we're in a freezer. You're gonna train for the cold. And? For the swish. No. I'm gonna start swishing. Are you ready? That list that Paige gave you, we all have a list like that in our head. It's really cold. I say stuff to myself like that all the time. Like, it's too hard to wake up at 4 a.m. Or I, I don't get to do anything but run and do homework. Or I'm gonna do something dumb and lose everything. It's really swishy. That list doesn't matter. That list is a jerk. 
only you know what's in your own heart. A lot of blood, I guess. Sam, okay, shut up. I'm being inspirational. What are you doing? The cold air is coming from that fan, so I'm building a wall of waffle fries to block some of it. That's clever. It's not clever. Everyone knows that a block of ice increases convection by creating a natural thermal insulator. No, Sam. Everybody doesn't know that. They don't? Oh. And you haven't mentioned the swishing for like a whole minute. You're right, I haven't. But uh, you should probably stop now because I still hate it. Right. You can do this, big brother. Truly. I didn't know you were so stressed out. Yeah, me neither. Hey, Casey? Yeah? You have a lot of blood in your heart, too. You're welcome. What's this? That's 100 USD. I know that, but what's it for? You know that penguin drawing I bought off you? Well, I put it in a crappy flea market frame and sold it online for 200 bucks. That's your cut. You know, people will buy anything if you market it properly. We're basically just highly evolved fish, you know? We like the sparklies. Wow. You really are good at money. No kidding. And there's more where that came from. A lot more. There is? Stick with me, Sam. I'll get you to Antarctica. Hey, guess what? What? Kids are out of the house. We don't have to work today. Are you ready for the first day of our uneventful life? Yes, I am. Okay, this is repetitive and boring. Grab a peeler. Okay. Wait a second. Hello? Hey. What? What? Huh? Okay, thank you. Thanks for calling. Okay. What? What is it? It's Donna. Chuck had a heart attack. He died. Tossing boulders in that round 